In the previous video, I showed you guys how to create your rollover buttons. Now again, you can do these any way you want. In this one and in the subsequent videos, I'm going to show you how to record your podcast. So if you want to create your own audio to show your creativity, you can do that. I'm going to show you how to just do a quick random video recording of some gameplay on your screen or just some video thing. Then we're going to do the last one, getting video for the game. So I'm just going to grab some stuff from YouTube. And I'm not going to save it, but I'm just going to show you what you need to do, which is simply to copy the link. It's very, very straightforward, but I'll show it at some point anyway. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to record your podcast. I'm going to be using a program called Audacity, A-U-D-A-C-I-T-Y, Audacity. Is called, it's, it's a completely free program, which you can download on almost any platform. So Windows, Mac OS, Linux, you can download this. You can even use your mobile phone. It doesn't have to be a program on here. Most mobile phones, or every Android phone anyway, comes with a free audio voice recording thing. iPhone comes with the same thing. Or you can download one from your app store and you can put screenshots from that into your document if you want to show that this is how you recorded your podcast. I'm going to do it this way just because I have the software here and I'm doing everything from my PC and I'm showing you guys what to do as well. So you can feel free to go ahead and download this. Go to the download page. Choose the version you have. If you have Windows, Mac OS, Linux, choose the version you have from here. Click on it, download it, install it. I'm not going to show the entire process here. I do believe I have a video of it at some point on my channel. So go have a look if you need to. Let me open my podcast thing. Now, I'm going to make up some random stuff, but that's not the point. The point is I know how to, or I'm, or I'm showing you guys how to make use of this feature of creating your own podcast thing. I'm going to be speaking back and forth. So just watch what I do. Okay, so I'm going to hit record here straight away. Testing, testing, microphone working, yep. Well, hello guys, welcome back. This is going to be a podcast on Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto 6, the new games coming from Rockstar in July 2022. Now, Rockstar's games have always been really, 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 really good. Their open world is second to none. Every other company that actually tries to create open world games takes something from Rockstar. Rockstar's most recent entry, Grand Theft Auto 5, best game in the world, eight years running that game or this game is always in the sales numbers for top 10 in every major country around the world so the uk um america australia those countries rockstar grand rockstar's grand theft auto 5 is always at the top so now i'm trying to introduce you guys to grand theft auto 6 i've played the game the features of this game are absolutely amazing the characters how well they look the cars the guns everything you do is wonderful so I would highly, highly recommend anyone that has not played Grand Theft Auto 4 5 to play that first because it does have some drawbacks from those stories. And Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be absolutely amazing. It will be released on Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, and PC. Unfortunately, previous generation consoles, so the PS4 and the Xbox uh, Ones, it will not be coming to those consoles. So thank you guys for listening to my 1 minute 20-something second podcast and have a nice day. So hopefully you guys, oh, let me press stop, sorry. So that's my podcast recorded there. It's not hard at all. That's it. Done. Now you can do a few of these. I might do another random one just to show um, on my section on my website that I'm going to have two podcasts. One speaking about the good of GTA 5 and one speaking about the, the specific features. So here I just had a general conversation about Grand Theft Auto 5. Maybe in the next one. I should do something which speaks about the specific features that I like, right? So I'm going to go to to save this. You ideally want to save it as an MP3, a very high quality MP3. And again, you don't have to do it this way. You can go onto your phone. You can use your voice recorder app on your phone. You can record what you want to say, and then you can just email that to yourself. And it's going to be exactly the same thing. But because I want to show you guys that um, how well how to do this from a PC, that's the only reason I'm doing this. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to export. You can choose wave, but I would recommend MP3. You know what? Choosing wave as an option now would be good because again, later on when we come to optimize, we can go back and export this as MP3. MP3 is going to be noticeably smaller. So that is us optimizing our website. So I'm going to choose the bad option now and choose wave. And then later on when it comes to optimizing the website, I'm going to go ahead and choose MP3. So when we optimize a website, we have to say what we did to optimize 
um, how does that help optimizing and what was it before? So how what did we do to optimize? I changed all my WAV files to MP3 because WAV is uh, sorry, MP3 is significantly smaller. Why did you do this? Because it would load, uh, the, it would allow the website to load tremendously faster using MP3 over WAV. Um, wa and then maybe, let me just export both of them. Let, let me stop talking. So let me go to this PC. Let me go to downloads. Let me go uh, podcast uh, version one. Is that downloads? I believe so. Then I'm going to just click OK here. And then I'm going to do the same thing for MP3. So I'm going to go back to file, export, export as mp3 and here we have a bit more settings i'm going to set my bitrate to constant is fine i'm going to still rename this uh podcast version one but this is going to be the mp3 version so that's fine i'm going to do uh stereo that means the audio comes through both headphones and the quality i'm going to set to 320 kilobytes that's the highest that mp3 can go so 320 kilobits per second my apologies then i'm going to click save just click OK here. Now, you can fill in all the artist details, but that's not necessary for this, right? Click OK. It exports it. I'm going to go to my Downloads folder now. And as you can see, look at the difference of that. This is the WAV file, 15.5 megabytes. Well, 15.1, sorry. 15.1 megabytes. And the MP3 version of that exact same file, 3 megabytes. And I can even make the MP3 version smaller because I, I can reduce the quality. So where I had it at 320 kilobits per second, I can bring that down to 190 kilobits per second. This will reduce the size as well. So this is how we're going to optimize our website later on. And again, the same thing goes for the JPEGs that we had, at JPEG and the PNGs we had earlier. Remember, the PNG was like, a, um, uh, like 500 kilobits or kilobytes. And the JPEG, so the PNG was... 500 kilobytes and the jpeg was like 50 so that's a massive 10 times difference here it's only five times difference 15 megabytes versus three megabytes but again i can make this smaller the um the wave file i can't make it any smaller i would have to change it to a different format so now what i'm trying to show you guys here again is not how to do it exactly how i say to do it what i'm trying to show you guys is that you can go ahead and record any type of podcast or any type of audio that you want if your website is about music I have a student making a website about um, the music software, so Pro Tools, Reason 12 or something like that. And you want to go ahead and do a rep and put it on your website, that's perfectly fine. If your website is about current issues and you want to have a conversation with someone about a topic that you're genuinely interested in, that's fine. If your website is about uh, football stats, I think I have another person doing that one. And you say, well, my team Chelsea is at the very top and I think it's amazing because do whatever you think is best. But again... The point of doing this is, is, is to show your technical skill set, to show that, oh, I know how to make a banner using software. I know how to make a rollover button using software. I know how to record audio. I know how to maybe do a video. And all of that is going to give you the marks and um, the credibility to show that you are creative. So that section, that, that section which asked about creativity, you will get full marks for that section because you can speak about all the things that you've done to be creative. That's how you get those marks. You will be able to screenshot stuff like this. So make sure that whenever you're recording your audio file, you maybe do a screenshot on your mobile phone, save it somewhere. I'm going to save this project. So when it comes for me to go ahead and do my evaluation and speak about how creative I was, I can come in and screenshot all of this stuff. So I'll come in and do a screenshot of this and say, well, I recorded my own audio file in Audacity, then I exported it as a WAV file, and, sorry, a WAV file first because I, WAV is the best quality. However, I went back and I changed it to MP3 because I needed to optimize the website so it would load a lot faster and just be quicker in general. And then you're going to show a few of these steps or just show a few screenshots. So that's it. Um, hopefully that was useful. Again, it doesn't have to be what I've done. Do whatever is best for you. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Have a nice day.